Today, we are testing out the new iPhone RAW photos, but we're also testing out something else. The new Mustang Mach-E. It's all electric, and this thing is incredible. the latest version of the iOS update, you're now able to take Apple Pro RAW photos. They talked about this in the keynote and now it's officially here. Once you turn on the RAW shooting in the camera settings, there's actually a little RAW button that will appear in the interface on the camera app, so you can choose to either turn it on or off. So I'm going to take some RAW photos and some regular photos, and then when we get home, I'll show you the differences between editing both of those. So let's take some pictures of this sweet freaking car, man! Let's do it, dude! this color, like everything about it. So this is how you can determine if this is a first edition. And we've had so many people try to like basically run me off the road, putting their windows down, trying to talk to me about this car. I'm like, excuse me, I'm driving. This is not safe behavior. I know, it's cool. And it's not out yet. <laughs> Excuse me, Sir Tyler, would you like a ride? Okay, bye. You know what else is really cool? There's an app and I basically start the car with the app. I can do all sorts of controls on here. You can unlock, you can lock, you can start the car. You also have all kinds of various controls. What happens if we click panic? Should I click it? Should I click it? I should click it. I'm, a bit, I'm in a panic right now, Tyler. Oh shoot. Oh my God, how do I stop it? Okay. I'm gonna press a button on my phone and I'm gonna open the trunk. This is revolutionary technology. Yeah. You want to watch me close it now? Yep. It's the future. The front facing camera can also shoot raw images. So let's test that out against this beautiful blue background. The interior is so amazing. It has this huge screen and the seats are actually made of a vegan leather and it's really, really soft and comfortable. There's also heated seats and the steering wheel is also heated. I know I live in Los Angeles and that's probably not needed, but it's been pretty chilly lately and my bum has been nice and toasty. Now, do you wanna watch me drive really fast? Legally, in all of the, as fastest as I can possibly go in the speed limit. Go. We have an Insta360 One X2 on the roof. Look at that. Look at a sunroof. Man, mm, this car's nice. We've made so many friends. I met a few Tesla owners who said if this had a better charging infrastructure, that they would buy this over the Tesla. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. We need to work on the infrastructure for charging. Wow, okay. The steering wheel is, it's heated right now. It's so warm on my little thingies. <laughs> is this a camera review video? We're not sure what this video is. I wanna flip it. Oh my God. Do you hear that sound? That's not real. There's an option on here that you can set to have like an audio feedback so that you know when you're, you know, hitting the pedal. I freaking love this car. Right now I have it on so there's a one pedal drive. I'm only driving with one pedal. So when I take my foot off the gas, it starts slowing down. Does he want to race me? Excuse me. Hello? Don't you get car sick? Yep. Oh no. My heart just drops! 
wow, this is so pretty. Oh man, look at this. Raw, no raw, I'm trying to cut out all the people. We pulled off to the side of the road so quickly. I'm still a little jarred. <laughs> So pretty. I don't want to go back to the car, but I do because I love the car up and I'm cold and it's warm in there and fast. Okay. Back from our photo walk, photo adventure, car review, unsure of what we really did, but we did a lot of stuff because we have a lot of pictures to go through and this is really cool just kind of bringing these all into Lightroom and kind of seeing the raw images next to the not raw images. You have so much more information to work with. You can adjust the highlights, the color, and I really want to show you guys this for anybody who's never done this type of editing before on a raw image. Here's all the images that I brought in. So let's pop into one of these. This is the raw image and this is our non raw image. You can tell that it's it looks very different. So this raw image is very flat which allows you to basically edit this however you want. So I'm gonna go in. Tyler, you're gonna be so hyped. I'm hyped! So here's my edited version. Here's the original. Edited, original, this looks really good. I'm gonna copy and paste all of the edits that I made onto this raw image onto this non raw image and you'll see that this photo basically just falls apart. Here we go. Copy, paste. It just looks very overprocessed. Yeah, I mean you can. Just it's not tell good. The, the blue color looks disgusting. Yeah, the yellow. Uh, the yellow looks disgusting. The saturation, the colors are totally flat and look like they're colored with like a marker. It's gross. So I'm gonna copy and paste that setting to another raw image here. Yeah, that's all. Oh, this wow, this looks really good. Oh man, I'm excited. So this is a front-facing raw photo. Let's do a quick little edit. That's nice. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is the jumping shot. This looks so cool. This is the raw image. Let's bring up those. Whoa, that brought up so much of the shadows. This is gonna be a cool demo because, because it's gonna be cool, you'll see. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. This M1 MacBook, pretty impressed. Original and an edit, original, edit. Now let's copy and paste this onto this image that is not raw and it looks like the trash can just spilled onto my MacBook. Sp it's disgust. This is gonna be a cool shot to edit as well. So you can see over here, this is Apple embedded color profile. If you can't tell by looking at these images, which one is raw, that's a good way to be able to tell. Wow, look at this. What, like I just like getting your reaction. Look at this. <laughs> and then basing it onto the, the non-raw, that's so bad. <gasps> I like that they make it so easy to turn the raw images off and on when you're in the camera app because the file size is much larger. Comparing one of these images, the raw image is 26 megabytes compared to two megabytes. That's a significant amount of space that you'll be using up to take raw images. So I think it's something that you might not wanna keep on all the time, but for special occasions, like when you have an electric car that is not out for months. God, I miss it already. I really love that Mustang. But the cool thing is when the iPhone takes a picture, like this is still a perfectly incredible photo. Like it just automatically makes the picture look really great. But if you want to be the one that goes in and makes all those edits yourself, you can now do it.
do that. Thank you guys for watching. I would love to know, have you tried this out yet? If you don't have this on your phone right now, you might need to do an update. Not only will you be getting access to the Apple Pro Raw, but the Apple Fitness app will also have an update. So you'll be able to do the Fitness Plus classes if you have an Apple Watch. I look forward to hearing what you guys think about this. This is so amazing and I cannot wait to take some more raw images. Wish that I could go to Hawaii to test it out.